Number 38. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D. So we have 25 grams of I2 in 125 grams of ethanol, C2H5OH. And in this case, we have to find out the molality. Well, there's generally only one general formula for a molality, if we need to find it, and that's this formula right here. Molality equals the moles of a certain solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. But the question is, they didn't tell us what the solute and the solvent was. But we can kind of figure it out by the wordings of how they, you know, worded this question. Now, if we count up the, the number of letters of solute, there's six total letters. And if you count up the total number of letters for solvent, there's seven. Going from smallest to largest, the solute is always going to be placed into the larger amount. So six goes into seven. So the solute is always being dropped in the solvent. Now, in this case, they said that the I2 was placed in the ethanol. So use your context clues. Since the I2 is being placed in the ethanol, the I2 has to be the solute, and the ethanol has to be the solvent. So now we know, with the solute, we need to find the moles. Ah, they gave us grams. So the first thing we have to do is take that 25 grams of I2 and go to moles of I2. How do we go from grams of one thing to moles of the same substance? That's the use of the molar mass. Grams to moles, all you do is divide by the molar mass. So let's find out what the molar mass of I2 is. There's two iodines, and each iodine is 126.9. So I'll do two times 120, oop, yeah, 120, right, 126? Yeah, 126.9 and I get 253.8, that's the molar mass. So we have to take the 25 grams that they gave us and divide it by the 253.8. So 25 divided by that number, and we get roughly zero, oh boy, we get roughly 0 0.0985. That's good enough. So now we have the moles of the solute. For the solvent, which is the ethanol, this needs to be in kilograms, but they gave it to me in grams. So I have to take the 125 grams of the ethanol, C2H5OH, and just convert it into kilograms of C2H5OH. How do we go from grams to kilograms? That's all the way back in the beginning too, right? That's the year SI unit conversions. Grams to kilograms is always just dividing by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal, move it to the left three times. So this would be 0 0.125. Moles of the solute, kilograms of the solvent. We can now find out the molality, which, by the way, is always like this italics little M value. Capital M is molarity. Lowercase squiggly M is molality. So, let's see, we got 0 0.0985 divided by 0 0.125. And maybe I'll just put this over here, because then the answer is going to go on the right-hand side. So, I'm just going to take this whole number and divide it by 0.125. And there we go. We get a molality of 0. Just hit my hand really hard, but that's okay. <laughs> Two sig figs, so seven nine. And then squiggly line M and call it a video. That's it. Not too bad. What'd you think? Okay, thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for coming here for your uh, educational needs. We have physics, we got math videos. Obviously we have tons of chem videos. So check the channel out with more subjects coming your way and check the link in the description. We might drop some goodies for you guys uh, from time to time. So just constantly check the descriptions. We might be putting out some study guides uh, in the future. So just check the link and it will all be free. So free for you guys to share with your friends, your classmates. Uh, free education really is the best. I, I think so. And 
we will see where it goes. Thank you so much for uh, coming here, and I hope you have a great day, okay? All right, bye-bye.